Hi everybody, today I'm going to show you a bracelet I made out of long beads. It's quick, it's easy, and it's affordable. So let's get started. In this DIY, I'm not going to do it in front of you. I'm simply going to explain it to you, uh, much like I did with these Tin, these are made from a tin can lid and I just did a video on that how you can make this as well as as well as this pendant using nothing but a tin can lid. I'll put the link for that video of my DIY with the tin can lids in the description box below this video but it's in my first playlist on my channel so be sure that you check that out it's my DIY crafts playlist okay so with this one I used some 15 gauge wire and I cut myself two pieces. Now you can measure your wrist or you can make it like an average size. If you're making this for yourself, then you measure your wrist. Now if you're making this to sell or give as a gift and you don't know, then you can go either way with a little room because you have some room with the jump ring and the clasp. Now, Normally, I would say go ahead and use elastic string. But if you're like me, you've experienced the elastic string breakage. <laughs> Eventually, no matter how expensive the bracelet or watch was, or where I got it, or if I made it myself or got it as a gift, they always broke eventually putting it on all the beads everywhere i had a nice watch it had purple gemstones and charms with fairy charms and stars and moons and i loved that watch and it was from macy's believe it or not and i got that as a christmas gift and i loved it and one day i'm putting it on and i went like that gently and boom <laughs> and the elastic broke beads my watch head went somewhere the charms went another way beads all over the place and i was really upset so that was the end of that and i really got fed up and i was like that's the last time i used elastic string Especially if you're making it to sell or give as a gift and then it falls apart that's embarrassing so now i use wire so what I did was I got two pieces of 14 gauge wire or 15 gauge, whatever you prefer, because these beads have two holes and they're long. And what I did was I, you know, cut uh, two long pieces because it's better to have longer that you can cut off, which you don't need than to be short some wire. So after I got them all, I made I made an ending part by bending it one way and then bending the other piece of wire the other way. And then I just looped a piece around a few times. If you can see that. I looped a piece around a few times and then I cut off the excess and I had a loop at the end and I did that on both sides. Now, originally it was way too big. I have small wrist, it completely fell off and so now it depends on if you're going to make them to slip over your hand or not. Now if you're going to make them to slip over, that's fine. But I made this so that it would uh, clasp. And this is how I did it. I did that on both ends. I put jump ring and then a clasp. And that's it. Now it looks really great on. It's great. I made it for the summer. And you can find these beads in this turquoise bead kit from Hobby Lobby. And I'm going to put the link below this video in the description box. And here's some pictures of it. And so that's it. That's all I used. You put some wire. You do your ends like I showed you. You bend them one way and then bend them the other way. And then put the other loop. Put the other piece of wire around cut the axis and then go ahead and make your loop. So I want to make sure that you're getting a good view of that. See how I did that? And then you attach your jump rings and your clasp and that's it. And you have a nice bracelet. Now you don't, you can make different sizes if you're making them to sell, but if you're going to give it as a gift, know what, you know, an average wrist would be if you know if the individual you're making for has a particularly small wrist. I do. Everything I get always seems to fall off me. Uh, but, you know, this 
worked for me. It's a little loose, but I just, you know, it's a little loose and that's okay, but it basically sits here. And if you're going to make it like a bangle, that's fine where, you know, people like to put it, wear it up here. That's also good, but I love it. And I love the colors because they're good for summer. Now it's spring and summer's coming around the corner next month, believe it or not. So, and that came fast. <laughs> so there we go. And that's it. So it's quick, it's easy, and it's affordable. The kit isn't that much money. It's between seven and eight dollars. You, again, you can find that at Hobby Lobby. They have a mixture of different types. I had uh, a set of earrings that I did a, a video. It's in, my, it's in my DIY playlist. You might want to check that out. It, it's also with beads that I got from the same kit. I got these. They have a lot of things, even silver pieces in there. I love it. So it's a great kit to have, especially for the summer if you want to start crafting some summer boho jewelry. It's the turquoise kit. They have other colors. Go check it out. And that's all I really wanted to show you. Just a quick, easy, um, affordable craft for you to make some nice summer jewelry. And I love this. And I can't wait to start wearing it. So I'll see you in my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.